the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have a Twitch account. If you don't have one, go ahead and sign up for one. If you already have one, you can go ahead and log in. Once you have your Twitch account set up, you can download your broadcasting software of choice. For this video, we'll be using OBS. When using broadcast software, you have to make sure it knows where to find your stream. In OBS, you'll achieve this by heading to File and then Settings. Once there, select Stream from the side and you'll have two options. The first option, Connect Account, will have you perform a one-time login through this window to link your Twitch account with OBS. The second option is to use a stream key. Now on this version of OBS, you can click Get Stream Key. And if you're logged into your Twitch account, it'll actually take you to the location of your Twitch page where you can find your stream key. Important note, make sure that you keep your stream key private. It is sensitive information for you. Hence why there's a show and hide button. Now you can go ahead and click copy to copy your stream key. Go over here, paste, hit apply, and then OK. First, for PC gaming, head over to the Sources section of your OBS. You can either right-click, Add, Game Capture, or click the plus button and go to Game Capture from there. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. Under Mode, I'd recommend choosing Capture Specific Window so you can control what application you really want to show. Now go to the Window drop-down, and if your game is already launched, it will show here. If not, you can select it after you launch it. Now this can happen if the resolution of your game and the resolution of your OBS canvas do not match. If you don't want to fiddle with that, an easy fix is to right click your source, transform, and fit to screen. When capturing your PC gaming, consider your setup. With a single non-ultra wide monitor, if your game is running full screen, you may find it challenging to monitor your OBS at the same time as your game. If you don't want to switch back and forth between your OBS and the game, consider running your game in WidNote mode. If you have multiple displays or a larger display, You'll have more real estate to play your game on one screen while monitoring your OBS and any other applications on the other screen. Now, if you have your game being captured by a capture card, here's how you add that instead. First, press the plus symbol or right click, add, and this time, go to video capture device. Now, this screen will showcase any capture device you have connected to your PC. Choose the one you'd like to broadcast from the drop down menu and click Activate. Again, if your game resolution and your OBS resolution don't match up, easy fix, right click your source, go to Transform, and Fit to Screen. If your audio is moving but your audience can't hear it, click the three dots next to your capture card, go to Advanced Audio Properties, and try changing your audio monitoring for your capture card to mute output or monitor and output. But this may result in double audio, so make sure to experiment properly. There's one final step and then you're ready to stream. First, head to your creator dashboard by going to dashboard.twitch.tv or clicking your portrait in the upper right and going to dashboard. Once you're at your creator dashboard, Choose the Stream Manager option to take you to this page. From here, choose Edit Stream Info. Choose a cool title. Choose a going live notification to entice people to watch your stream. And make sure to change your category to match whatever it is you're doing. Then click Done. And now your stream setup is ready. At this point, you can click Start Streaming to begin your stream on Twitch. If this video was helpful, please check out other Creator Camp tutorials and articles to help you along your way.